everybody. Adam and Rick here. Uh, just wanted to take some time to welcome you to the LAPS World Headquarters, <laughs> which is also conveniently Adam's apartment. <laughs> it, it makes the commute really easy. <laughs> we sat down today because we are almost exactly seven months out from, uh, from departing on the trip. So we're getting down to our detailed planning. Today we're finalizing the route that we're going to take. Uh, we wanted to get a digital copy of it so that uh, we can update our lovely hand-drawn uh, map here from eight months ago. <laughs> also, we wanted to be able to map all of our key points uh, along the way. So, so we, we decided, we decided to, to try a few different software um, possibilities just to see what would work. Um, we both have uh, Garmin GPS's on our motorcycles and and so the first place that we looked was was through Garmin hoping that we could uh, use their interface to map the entire trip not necessarily download it onto here because we know that the the trip is going to change day to day yeah. but uh, but just have a, the basic outline so uh, Garmin has has a product called Basecamp we downloaded it started working with it it was the first time that we had tried it and to be honest uh, found it a little bit onerous uh, just the, the the way that the software itself worked it wasn't super intuitive super easy so uh, we, we kind of skipped past it plus there was expense that was involved in it right uh, map packs for outside of North America that sort of thing yeah so uh, so uh, I mean Garmin we love you we're gonna use you uh, we just we didn't we didn't use the Basecamp software for, for, for this part. Next, we moved on to everybody's favorite and most convenient, which was uh, Google Maps. Very user friendly. Uh, everybody knows how to uh, navigate their way around Google Maps, and a very simple interface. The problem that we came across with uh, Google Maps is. Uh, the number of waypoints allowed for a trip, which they limit you to 10, which includes modifications to the road itself. Yeah, and, uh, and, and for, for us, because, because we're planning this 30,000 kilometer trip, um, 10 waypoints just didn't cut it. For, for a shorter trip, I'm sure it would be perfect. Yeah, exactly. Um, but for a seven month, 30,000 kilometer trip, wasn't enough for us. No. No. And then we uh, uh, actually used Google to do a little search on, on online map resources and, and what was best for it and bumped into uh, Bing Maps. It wasn't the, it's not the best interface. It, it's not the, uh, it wasn't the easiest to use. It definitely got the job done uh, with 25 waypoints as opposed to 10 which we used every single one of them to uh, <laughs> to map it all out. Definitely got the job done. Gave us the image we were looking for, the digital image we were looking for yeah. mapped out at the end. I love I love our hand drawn map and I think we're we're still going to still going to use that in in a lot of our uh, marketing and a, and a lot of our videos, but having digital version of it is uh, is good too. The other piece of news that we want to bring everybody up to date on is that I have actually moved to London, Ontario. That's where Rick's lived for all of your life. Yep. <laughs> and um, I lived uh, about an hour and a half away, uh, just north of Waterloo, Ontario. And so for us to put videos together, for us to do planning, to uh, you know really have boots on the ground as far as uh, marketing and... Uh, sponsorship and all of the things that that go along with putting together this kind of trip, uh, it was it was it was difficult. And so one of one of the things that we agreed on eight months ago when we when we first started planning the lap was that I would move down here. And so uh, we've done that. And it's also going to allow us uh, to have daily interactions. Uh, and we've set aside. Uh, time for a weekly meeting uh, where we can actually sit down and plan, uh, follow up on what each of us has achieved throughout the week, uh, set our goals for each week, and to be honest, it's going to help with the budget. So what me moving down here also gives us the opportunity to do is focus on our video creation. Between the lap and the roadside gourmet, we will be posting uh, one video a week. Every Friday we'll be, we'll be posting a video. Uh, 
Some will be roadside gourmet with all of our recipes and our cooking, and others will be um, tips on motorcycles, tips on planning a trip, travel, camping, all of the things that, that we're going to be running into. So over the course of the next couple of months, uh, as spring comes <laughs> comes around and we get rid of this snow and, and crappy weather, uh, we'll be doing practice runs and spending weekend camping uh, uh, just to, to fine tune and again, detailed organization of the trip uh, to see what we need to carry, what we don't need to carry. And we'll also be inviting you guys to join us at some point. We're going away for a weekend or a long weekend. The more the merrier. We'd be happy to spend some time with some of our followers and uh, get to know you guys, let you guys see what we're doing in person. If you have any topics that, that you'd like to see us cover, whether that be uh, our, our cooking, our motorcycles, what we're packing, how we're packing it, why we're packing it, uh, please leave comments. We, we'd love to know what you'd like to see as far as uh, how we're putting together the lap. Any feedback is welcome. This is our first big trip, so if, if you've done a big trip and you have suggestions and want to leave those, uh, we'll take them into consideration as well. Uh, Absolutely. We are learning all along the way, so we, we would love your feedback. <laughs> to wrap it up, uh, make sure you click like and subscribe. Uh, tell all your friends about the adventure that we're going to go on, and uh, hopefully they'll want to follow along as well. Absolutely. And right. We will uh, we'll see you in the next video. Salud.